Hey, it's Mazzy here. Welcome back. We're going to the tropics, I hope. You've probably heard uh, the term desert island discs. It's been around since, well, at least 1942, the BBC started a radio program where, you know, famous people at the time, celebrities, politicians, writers, uh, musicians, possibly, uh, would get on this radio program and choose eight of their favorite uh records, or favorite pieces of music, usually music, they could be spoken word, and they would bring them to a desert island. Plus, on the BBC program, you would pick one book as well as one luxury item. Now, uh, the BBC, to this day, still uh, has the desert island discs. Those of us around the world outside of Britain can hear them on the BBC online and we can see and read and hear. It's been thousands, three, four thousands of these over the years. Now, uh, most recently, uh, my friend Chris the Longcut just did his top 10 desert island discs. And uh, you can hear the wind blowing in on the island right now. And uh, he picked 10 instead of eight. Cause you know, Americans always have to take <laughs> whatever the rest of the world originates, creates, and make it bigger. So I decided to do a response video of my uh, 10 Desert Island Discs, and I will include a book that I will take along with me, and I will include a luxury item. So now for my um, for mine, I'm going a little different direction here. I'm all dressed for success to be on that island. Now, of course, obviously you could get into the weeds and say, well, what about electricity and playing records and playing music and all the, uh, the the usual questions you'd have on the island. Well, if you just go back and watch uh, every episode of Gilligan's Island, you'll figure, you figure there's always a way. There's always a way, way to do it. Now, I thought I would bring to the island, I don't know, do, can we land in an airplane or are we dropped off in a boat? I hope it's not a crash landing, but I decided to bring this trunk. I th thought like a steamer case would be the ideal uh, carrying case to bring all my items in. So I finally am getting the perfect use for the Harrison Uber box here. Now I fit every, all 10, except I do have a carry-on. I figured I could bring a carry-on. So I'm starting with a carry-on, okay? Before I get into the, everything is literally included in this Harrison, uh, George Harrison, all things was past, Uber box, Everything except all things was past. I did not include that. But I'm going to start out with my number one desert island disc, and that is this. this is, I'm bringing CDs. I figure CDs, you know, they're not going to melt. Having records out on the desert island, especially if you're in the, you know, a warmer climate, um, they could melt and could warp CDs. I could bring a boombox, too. How how cool is that? So I'm bringing Bob Dylan, The Complete Album Collection, Volume 1. Uh, this came out some years ago, maybe eight years ago, seven, eight years ago. And it has everything up to Tempest. Obviously, the, the, the years after that, I guess, will be in a future next volume. However, if I'm on the Desert Island, I probably won't get that. There's a lovely book so I can see and read up on the albums. But I got pretty much every friggin' Dylan album, including... His worst uh, collaboration uh, with the Grateful Dead, Dylan and the Dead. Uh, so that's I'll have one Grateful Dead record to whet my appetite if I want to hark back to San Francisco. Because I didn't really bring, I don't think I brought any San Francisco bands. But let's open up the Uber box here. And as you can see, it's jam-packed with goodies. So... These are not in any kind of order. You don't take an order when you're talking about Desert Island Discs. Uh, Procol Harum. This is basically an overview of their anthology 1967 to 1917. <laughs> no, to 2017. I'm going back in time. I kind of went in a time warp on this, uh, this island. I'm getting all island. What's the thing? Island crazy? Island? There's a term for that, and I'm just blanking out on. Uh, island... Well, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I love Procol Harum. They're one of my favorite bands that, you know, is not usually considered in the top tier uh, by people. But, of course, Wider Shade of Pale, Wider Shade of Pale, the most uh, 
most played on the BBC. So I'm sure someone probably in one of those Desert Island BBC broadcasts possibly mentioned uh, Wider Shade of Pale, but Gary Brooker's soulful voice, Matthew Fisher's organ playing, uh, Robin Trower, especially in the first, what, five or so albums, his guitar playing, uh, the great lyrics of Keith Reed, pretty much till the end. Uh, but this is a wonderful anthology, has some live stuff. Now, I don't know if we're going to have any uh, playback, video playback, but there are a couple of DVDs on here, if there are, on that island. Maybe someone else who uh, landed next to me has some kind of video uh, machine that can play this. But Procol Harum's uh, anthology, love this music, uh, especially uh, the wonderful uh, record from... Um, well, Shine On Brightly and, of course, Salty Dog. Salty Dog is the perfect, perfect album to play on a desert island, don't you think? You know, you see what I did there, and it's true. It's true. Next, again, not in order, I'm going to pick Neil Young. Neil Young's anthology. <laughs> Neil, this is the first one. So you get a little taste of the tail end of Buffalo Springfield, his first solo albums, some great live stuff at the Fillmore. He's just got a great anthology, and, you know, this would be definitely a desert island disc. Um, you know, I don't need every single Neil Young record, but this is like the real, real sweet spot. I'm sure some would go for the volume two, the next version of this, maybe over. But in my case, my age, my music, my choice, my video, uh, this Neil Young record would be next on the list. Then we got, oh, it's already patinaed. It's already, it's all obviously going to get, um, you know, when it gets all all wonky like this, not mildew, what's this called? Patinaed. Basically got this metal box set. This is every recording, as I as far as I know, from Bill Evans, who Bill Evans did on Verve Records. And so I have some beautiful piano music on that island to play. Bill Evans, the great uh, jazz pianist. Uh, I want this. So you got this amazing box set. As long as I don't cut myself, because I don't, you know, I will get a tetanus shot again, an updated tetanus shot if I need an updated tetanus shot. Uh, look at this, look at this box set. It, it did come out later on a cardboard version that doesn't like cut you and slice your wrists. The complete Bill Evans on Verve will be there. Uh, it's rusted. That's what I was thinking. It's rusted. I forgot the term rust. Rust never sleeps. Get it? Okay. Then we're going. Okay, we're going with Kid A. Uh, my favorite album by Radiohead. When I'm in the mood for Radiohead, this might be enough for me on the desert island. There's a mood to the electronic sound of, of Radiohead and the, when they got more experimental, of course, everything is right place. I constantly show that album, this album, and I refer to that song as really a transition period and, and my love for Radiohead really exploded there. As much as I liked uh, the earlier albums, guitar-based albums, this is the one for me. And every once in a while, I just want to have that ethereal sound of that, the voice and that electronics at the beginning of how the album opens. You know, it's just, it's just a great, great feeling. And I need to, you know, wake myself up sometimes and just really do have something a little different. Of course, uh, the complete Ella Fitzgerald songbooks. These are all the greats. I mean, to me, the greatest vocalist in pop and jazz ever is Ella Fitzgerald. I saw her once at the um, the Venetian Room at the Fairmont Hotel. But you got here the uh, the Gershwin songbooks, the Duke Ellington songbooks, the Harold Arlen songbooks, Cole Porter, uh, Johnny Mercer, Jerome Kern, Rogers and Hart. Every songbook she did, some with Louis Armstrong. This is amazing music that was on Verve, produced by Norman Grants. Uh, Desert Island Discs, this is going to be with me. I'm going to love this. This will be when I have... You know, if I'm lucky enough to have a, a romantic uh, liaison on the island, um, you know, while we're sitting under the coconut tree and listening and sipping, well, I don't know what we're sipping, whatever's there we're sipping. We're sipping a, a, a hollowed out coconut juice, maybe. Uh, this might be a good one to play, along with the Bill Evans stuff. You know, it depends on who I'm sharing this with, right? You know, when you're on a desert island, there's going to be times when you're lonely and depressed, even if you have someone. Depression is a serious thing, and I, I, I'm not mocking it at all, but sometimes you have these 
feelings that you just like, why am I here? Why am I on this friggin' desert island? And if that's the case, I want the Smith's catalog. There's nothing better when you're depressed and feeling down is listening to the depresso lyrics and the the the, the fu humorous lyrics by Morrissey and the Smiths. Of course, a great Johnny guitar, uh, Johnny guitar, Johnny Marr guitar playing. He's one of the most interesting guitarists. He has this rhythmic lead style. I love Johnny Marr. I love every Smiths album. I love this box set. This is the entire catalog. It has this great cover photograph by Jurgen Vollmer taken. Uh, I believe early Germany or early UK. I can't remember it because he was from obviously uh, Germany. He took the picture, a lot of the Beatles early on in Hamburg in that famous cover of rock and roll with John Lennon in the doorway. Uh, but of course, uh, this has all the proper albums. You've seen them before. I'll show them to you again. I mean, there's when you're in the mood for the Smiths, there's nothing else. Uh, there's nothing else that surpasses or you can't get a replacement for any Smith's record. There's, I love, I smile when I listen uh, to Morrissey talking about the bleakness and the loneliness and, but he has such a, such a sense of humor, but very topical in a way. And obviously music uh, that um, I don't think, I think is definitely never dated. So I don't know how long I'm going to be in this desert island. I, they don't, they don't never tell you is on this desert island disc thing. Is this forever? Do I come back forever? Do I come back to Seattle, San Francisco? Do I go to another island? Uh, what's that about? Am I there forever? I don't know the answer to that. Uh, next, okay. You know, I was picked a model, my early Miles Davis mono box, but I I thought, you know, how many times on an island can you listen to kind of blue? Jesus Christ! And I already got. Uh, Bill Evans anyway, so I don't need it. But I want to I wanna get like a little uh, raunchy, dirty electric. And this is uh, the box set, the metal spine box. Uh, this one is not metal, but this is the Miles Day in the Silent Way sessions. All the great sessions of Miles Davis. Uh, I just love this music. And uh, it, Silent Way is uh, my favorite Miles Davis album. So what do I have here? I have three CDs of all the session work uh, from from the great Miles Davis. So uh, that'll kind of keep my, my fusion-y, early fusion jazz thing, electronic, you know, just the great, great, soulful, funky uh, fusion of that album. Before fusion got kind of boring, like that, what is that, Return to Forever album, Romantic Warrior. God, who needs that record? Then I got... The Beatles. This is the stereo. You know, I thought about taking the mono, but, you know, when you're in a desert island, you don't give a shit about mono. I don't care about mixes or remastered or whatever, but this gives me the entire Beatles catalog for the most part. This is this is everything. And this is the box set. What is it? 2009, I believe it came out. Am I right? Give or take around that time. Uh, remastered. But I don't, again, I don't give a crap about remastered. Otherwise, every Beatle album, including... Uh, the uh, Past Masters that has all the, the collection of the singles. Uh, but, I mean, I got the friggin' entire Beatle record. I won't have any solo stuff, but who cares when you got everything from Love Me Do to I Dig a Pony. I Dig a Pony. And Across the Universe, the Beatles. I mean, you knew I was going there, didn't you? Right? And then last but not least, again, not in order... I'm taking a mosaic box, and it fits in the Uber box. Mosaic box in Uber box. This is uh, for the CD set, and this is something like is it 18 CDs. This is the complete capital recordings of the Nat King Cole trio. This is the piano trio. This is the the sweet spot. This is one of my all-time favorite box sets. Um, uh, Michael Cascuna is, is the jazz curator, producer that put together these mosaic uh, box sets, but this is one that I adore. Sometimes you have multiple versions of Route 66 or Sweet Lorraine uh, or Hit the, not Hit the Road Jack, that's, um, that's uh, Ray Charles, but um, what the greatest piano player, one of the smoothest, sexiest, beautiful voices in the world. So uh, I just love this stuff. I mean, these, this music, 
I could just listen to this music for weeks on end. Uh, and I used to, uh, you know, in my office, I remember when I first got this at 18, I'd load up the five CD changer and leave it in there sometimes for a week and just put on random and playing all these songs. Beautifully curated. I do have, I finally got, and unfortunately the reason I got it was for my late friend Coleman and his collection. He had the 27 LP version of this. I'm leaving it here, so if, if my house is still here and I'm on the island, whoever comes and visits here or is 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 house-sitting, if I still have my house when I'm on a desert island, can play the 27 LP version of this. So, um, lastly, as I close off, we talked about a book. Oh, we talked about a, um, a luxury an item. Bringing a luxury item seems weird, but I think the thing, the obvious choice for me, as long as we have good power, is... Uh, my espresso machine, my Ranchilio Italian espresso machine. It's overkill, it's plumbed in, I won't be able to plumb it in. You don't have to, well, you do have to plumb it in. So we have to have that uh, Gilligan's Island uh, scientist, the professor to figure out how to plumb it in. Uh, the only reason I have an espresso uh, machine this big, and you'll see it right here, I'll insert it, is because uh, we had this at our photo studio in San Francisco, and uh, we had it there for 20 years almost, and uh, I brought it and it fit in my house. Overkill for a home unit, but anybody who comes to the island will have espresso. If we're somewhere near like Costa Rica or somewhere Brazil, somewhere I can get good coffee beans, that is another question. Uh, do I have to, do, do I have to, how do I grind my beans? There's a lot of questions here that, you know, we're just gonna let it go and let, let the, the details go on that. Lastly, there's so many books, and I think a book that I've read maybe six or seven times in my life um, I thought about bringing, you know, Dylan's lyrics or a Beatle thing. And this seems like the perfect book. It's Jack Kerouac's On the Road. This happens to be a, a 40th anniversary edition. Of course, the, the beat poet, the beat writer, On the Road, his most famous book. Uh, Lived in San Francisco for a while, came through. But uh, this this would be a good book to read. I, again, rereading, rereading, rereading. Being on the road and maybe switch it out to On the Island. So, uh there we go, Mazzy's Top 10 Desert Island Discs with a book and with a luxury item. Thanks for watching. I'll put a link below to Chris's uh, video, the long cut video, and make your video. We're going on the American version with 10 of them. If you're in the UK, you can stay with eight if you like. Uh, but uh, this is not an original topic, but it's kind of a fun topic. Again, it's very different than my top 10 records of all time. These are records I want with me. This is music I want with me if I have to listen to it over and over and over and over again. Thanks for watching. Mazzy loves you. Aloha.